Hello guys! Today we're diving into the world of 3ds Max 2024 with a new feature that makes modeling smoother and faster. I'm talking about the newly introduced Boolean modifier and let me tell you guys, it's a game changer. Let's dive in. In the previous versions of the software, we could use Boolean from compound objects. Now we can a new feature in 3ds Max 2024 and we can use Boolean as a modifier as well. We have various operations to choose from. Let me explain the difference. Union unifies the volume of both objects. The intersecting or overlapping portion of the geometry is discarded. Intersect, as the name says, intersects overlapping volume common to both original objects. The geometry that is left is discarded. Subtract removes the intersecting volume from the base object. Split adds new edges on the base object along the intersection of the operand, making them separate elements. Merge intersects and combines two meshes without removing any of the original polygons. New edges are created where the objects intersect. Attach combines multiple objects into one without affecting their topology. They remain separate elements of the compound object. Intersect subtracts the bounding shape of the newly added operand from the current result and leaves the shape of the new operand unaffected by the operation. As the difference is clear, let me show you how to use this method. We have boxes where the doors and windows holes should be. Based on the previous explanation, you probably already know that we need to use Substract. I will show you right away how live reference works. So by default, it is turned off. If this is the case, when we subtract the object, the original object disappears and becomes part of the Boolean modifier. On the other hand, when we turn on the Use Live Reference option, the original object stays in the scene. If we additionally choose Hide Reference, it will automatically be hidden. I prefer to have this option off. You can notice the blue sphere in the holes. The color indicates the type of operation, in our case, subtraction. By clicking on the name in the operands list, we can select a particular object. By right-clicking, you can, for example, choose to rename. It will be way easier if we have straightforward naming, especially when modeling complex stuff. Now, imagine that your client comes back to you and says, move the doors 20 cm away from the wall. Not an issue. We can easily do this without adding extra modifiers. But more importantly, we can edit the operands, for example, changing their size. If they have any modifiers on top, they can be modified as well. Or we can add new ones. All of this will influence the boolean. We can also select the operands by clicking on the particular spheres. We can delete them too by clicking on the bin icon. Coming with Shift is also available, which is great and makes life way easier. By right-clicking on the operand, we have more options, like Cut, for instance. It removes the operand from the scene and copies it to the clipboard. We can also use Shift in combination with Rotation or Scale. Another useful option is Extract Operand and Extract Operand Copy. Extract Operand simply removes the selected operand from the operation, while Extract Operand Copy additionally creates a copy of the selected operand. Let's use Split as an example now. You can quickly notice that now the sphere has a pink color. Split may be helpful when we want to create a glass for the window, for example. Another thing is that we can change the operation at any time. We can expand this list like that. Just hold the button on the icon and change it to anything you want. We can create an object on a certain stage depending on which operand we click. Use the create object from result to do so. So it will create a new object based on the boolean result. This new object is based on the result of the selected operands. While create shape from seam creates a new shape from the seam of the selected operand. In our case, the shape is based on the intersection of the selected operand and the base object. We'll be able to add, for example, the sweep modifier to it and create frames. We can also turn on and off operands. It may be super helpful when working on some complex objects. You need to be aware that the order of the operands is really important and changing it influences the effect. Another cool option is the ability to create folders, so I can add all the windows. I can not only make it more organized, but also make different actions on all of them at once, instead of picking them one by one. In the Options rollout, we can find Extract Select and Extract Copy. The first one removes the selected operands from the Boolean operation 
and creates new objects using the operands existing geometry and transfers, while extract copy removes the selected operand and creates a new object with all the modifiers from the original object. Now, when we have the materials applied to the objects and we have the Use Materials option on, then the Boolean results uses the base object's material. Here is what I mean. The sides are in the material of the operand, so its color is red. Now, Imprint and Cookie. What these options are about? Well, Imprint splits faces and adds new edges to the base object, while Cookie performs the boolean operation without adding faces from the operands into the base mesh. It basically cuts a hole in the mesh. We can also set the display options to our needs. I like the default settings, but if you want to change it for any reason, you have a couple of options. Turn on Disable Interactive Update if you struggle with slow interactive performance. And finally, Create Objects creates a new set of objects and hides the boolean object. You can find some additional options here, like Align Pivot, which aligns the selected operand's pivot to the base object. Others are pretty self-explanatory. At any point, we can easily edit the object with the boolean modifier, and this is a true beauty of the method. We can go back and forward how many times we need. Does your client want to add some extra walls inside? No problem, just add it and use Union. You can move it, adjust it, and so on. If you want to learn about creating visualizations in 3ds Max, join our visualization training or watch other videos here on YouTube. Bye-bye!